Hi, Stamper fans. I'm Nan Gerlitz, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Bloomington, Illinois, and I am here to help you connect with your people, whether that's through gathering together to craft or you crafting special items to share with them. It's all about making and deepening those connections. So let's get started. Let's switch the view and we'll talk about what we're doing on this Make It Monday. All right, so first of all, a quick recap of Friday Night Stamping. Uh, because I forgot to announce the winner today, and I'll explain why in a minute. <laughs> but this was the winner from Friday Night Stamping, and this was my card. And this is actually what we are making tonight as well. So win, win, win all around, right? But I do want to show you a close-up especially of the Stamper Man's card. You see, there we go. So completely embossed a layer there. I love that. And then the Blackberry Bliss which I don't know showed up great in the photograph and then the adorable little hamster. So we love him. You are loved little guy. So that was um, Russ's card from Friday night, which got a very respectable number of votes. So it was by no way um, completely one-sided. So, uh, but we have the really fun honeycomb stamp, which I know you're going to love. And maybe you overlooked it uh, in the uh, Be My Valentine stamp set. And also I'm going to show you how I did this greeting. And that's the, that's probably going to be the key takeaway tonight, although there's some others. Um, but this is actually one greeting that's really long and it wouldn't fit on the tag. So I'm going to show you a very easy way to split your sentiments. All righty. Um, so yeah, totally forgot to make the announcement. So I'll make sure to post that tomorrow. Um, Lots to talk about while we're stamping tonight. So after two weeks of really busy cards, we got a clean and simple tonight, which is definitely much more my style. I don't know what kind of um, demon possessed me the last couple of weeks with all the fussy cutting and the layering, <laughs> but I'm back. We're okay. <laughs> so, All right. So let me get this out here. We are using the Be My Valentine stamp set today. And my my original thought on Friday was to use this guy, which is the B body, if you will. Um, but I was gonna use it as just like dots on a card, kind of a background effect. And I kept thinking about it. And then I thought maybe I could put faces on these little blobs and all sorts of things and nothing was really gelling. So I remembered this stamp. And I remember some demonstrator somewhere talking about how it was made to be stamped multiple times and it fits together. So I'm like, oh, that's what I'll do. <laughs> so let's get started on that, shall we? Okay. So I knew I wanted to use Crush Curry with our little honeycomb stamp. And as usual, all the measurements and full supply list is in the video description. Hello, hello, Penny. We're just getting started. So glad you could join us tonight. Glad, glad people are here. <laughs> Always happy for that. Um, so yeah, I knew I wanted to use the crushed curry for the honeycomb. I felt like that was kind of the closest color to the, oops, a dimensional backing. Like, that's weird, right? Those are never everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I've got a slightly smaller than regular um, base of the white because I do have a, an additional layer. So I'm just going to kind of stamp them up in the corner and then you can just fit it right together. And it is made to just keep fitting together. Oh my gosh, I'm stamping this way better than... <laughs> when I did Friday night. So you can see all of my little misses on the ones Friday night, but this one's just coming together. Great. Yes. Like glitter, glitter's everywhere. Although I much prefer to have stamp uh, dimensional backings everywhere there. I missed that one. <laughs> and that just goes to show you that you do not have to be perfect when you're stamping because it is handmade and you know, maybe if there's proof of that, people will appreciate it even more. So I just wanted to go into the corners and do kind of a, um, just an uneven, like as if you had taken a piece of honeycomb and kind of snapped it and it's, so it's just jagged edges and whatnot, right? I'll do another one down here or, hmm, yeah. 
All right, that's pretty good. And I did not even copy from my original, although it's kind of close, but I'm getting better, folks. <laughs> I just wanted to cover the, uh, the, the corners of those. And um, I have, oh, sorry to jangle, you guys. I have extra crushed curry on my block. So make sure we get that off of there. Otherwise, it'll be all over my hands and maybe my card and not what I want. Okay, so I'm going to leave that stamp out for a bit because I will use it again. So taking the crushed curry, and of course, I needed black. I felt like black was going to go well. I mean, you know, it's kind of the whole B colors, right? But um, I also felt like it was going to go well with the little trail here that I was making. So I wanted to, I knew I wanted to pull in that sweet as honey sentiment. And so I felt like I needed to have even more of a suggestion of a bee, I guess. Like, like he just flew off. We just missed him. <laughs> I love this little bee trail. And actually, um, so the next two weeks, folks, there will be no lives. Um, because the Stamper Man and I are going north to Alaska. <laughs> we are taking a cruise plus a railway trip um, up in Alaska. So excited. I'm at the anxious, oh my God, what do I pack? Do I just bring everything stage right now? So it's getting better. I'm getting calmer. I'm making some lists. That always helps. <laughs> so, um, but that's kind of the stage I'm at right now. So there will be no live videos the next two weeks. I do have some content that I will be sharing with you guys. Yes, I'm excited too, Penny. Thanks for your tip, by the way. We are going to um, probably go online tonight and book our tickets for that cool thing in Vancouver. Um, we're going to do that Sunday, I believe. So I'm so excited for that. That looks amazing. Um, okay, so squirrel. <laughs> Sorry about that. So there will be no live videos the next two weeks, but I have pre-stamped a bunch of things to share with y'all on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so definitely, you know, check out both of those um, places for all the things. Um, and hopefully as we get some Wi-Fi, maybe as we're on land and we have a signal, I'll be sharing some pics from um, Alaska as well. So we are doing a whale watching expedition and then we're doing a, like a historic walk through, I think it's Skagway maybe. One of the towns, one of the stops. <laughs> so, very, very exciting. <laughs> All right. The burger at a little bar. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm sure we we figured we'd probably grab just a quick kind of bite, you know, while we're in Vancouver, nothing too spendy because we'll be spending enough on the cruise, I'm sure. Um, okay, so we've got our base card done. And then I wanted, I was trying to figure out what color to put it with it. So I pulled out my handy dandy color wheel that I got because, um, you know, I went to OnStage. So all the demos that go into OnStage got this for free, which is awesome. But you too can do the same thing I did with our catalog. You go to page 132, there is a big picture of our color wheel. It does not have the spinny thing, but it does have all the explanations of the monochromatic and the complementary and whatnot. So I believe, let me find this. Yeah, so I cheated a little bit. Um, I kind of did part of a triadic. <laughs> so the triadic is usually when you pick like a triangle, right? So three colors. So the crushed curry is over here. And I went with summer splash. And then I should have pulled in a purple, but I decided not to. And I loved the way it worked anyway. So, <laughs> you know, color theory is one thing, but there's always room for just, you know, some of your own interpretation. So. Definitely take a look at those pages in the catalog because they are super helpful. Hi, Linda. So glad you could pop on. We just got started. So 
not too far along. Um, okay, so that is how I picked the summer splash to go with our crushed curry. And I was, I love the way it turned out. And obviously many of you did too, because there were lots of votes. And I will say this summer splash is definitely growing on me. I did not, it's not that I hated it. It was just like, oh, that's a nice color, but mm, it's really, really pretty. <laughs> so, okay. So what we're doing, we've got our base that we've stamped, a little bit of stamp and seal here. Just going to hit the corners. Well, it helps if it's lined up. <laughs> And we'll just get these all. And as I said, the measurements and everything are in the um, supply link in the video description. So you don't need to worry if you missed anything at the beginning. I don't even think I said measurements because they're all right there. And that way I don't say it wrong, right? Oh, you're in Illinois, huh, Linda? What you doing there? Because two states wasn't enough for you guys to hang out with. <laughs> okay, so there's our base, right? And then we needed a little something, something. And I knew I wanted to use ribbon on this card because I have the Summer Splash ribbon. So awesome. But I wasn't sure, like, at this point, I'm like, mm, I don't really want it around. And I don't want a bow because it's too bulky and um, stuff like that. I do like to kind of have flatter ribbons on cards that I'm probably going to send in the mail. Um, so I decided a tag was definitely the way to go. So I pulled out my something fancy dies because this little guy will poke a hole in your tag. Like as you die cut the tag, you die cut the hole at the same time. So I've got a little scrap here. I'm actually going to die cut this first so that um, I can show you how I did the sentiment as well to like fit on it. Yeah, I need my, need my post-it tape for this. Because I want to make sure that hole is lined up right. And I love the way that this little die just like fits in that little niche from the other die. It just fits right up in there. So you know it's going to be in the right spot. And this will fit in our mini machine. So no need to drag out the big machine. And our plates got so bad over the weekend that we broke down and got new plates out. So pretty, pretty new plates, nice and shiny and new. <laughs> okay everything stacked so neatly when I get here on um, Monday nights and then I start stamping and everything just forget about it <laughs> I forgot to take a little bit of that adhesive off so I have to be very gentle all righty usually when I'm using my post-it tape if it's a new one I'll like stick it to my clothes or my jeans or something a time or two to take a little bit of the adhesive off that way I know it won't tear the cardstock. Hopefully you guys are not hearing the um, barking going on upstairs. <laughs> the stamper man is cutting the grass tonight, so um, they have decided they're gonna bark. That's what they do best. <laughs> there we go. We were talking over the weekend too, as we were stamping all these little kind of teardrops or dots or anything else that you get out of your dies if you want you could keep like a little tray or a jar or something and just keep them and they're great for shaker card inserts so i might actually break out one of the jars that i'm saving for who knows when right because we don't hoard things as crafters do we um, and i might just uh start saving those for shaker cards and then we need another one for the back because I felt like after I put that white on white, it just did not have enough um, contrast. And I did have a little adhesive left on here. So that's from the post-it tape. We'll just kind of rub that off and it'll be fine. Yeah, perfect. 
Okay, so same thing. I have a little scrap of basic black here because that'll tie in with that um, B trail and the sentiment. And this particular die set also has a little tulip cut out that'll fit snugly in there. So you can kind of have a little decorative element. And it also has a little like leafy branch. And again, will fit right up in there. And it has two sizes of this die that those will work with. So lots of possibilities with this something fancy die set. I it, It's one of my go-tos for sure. There it is. All right. Bring our mini machine back out. And please remember, if you have this mini machine or if you're getting it, and I'll give you a little clue on something real quick, um, don't, don't line up both of your plates even with each other because it won't go through. Something about physics. I'm not a science person. Just trust me, this works better. So if you put them uneven, then it will roll right through your machine with no issue. All right. Yeah, right. Crafters, we're not hoarders. No. I got um I'm trying to remember what it was. Some oh lysine. I take lysine every day. And um it, the last time we bought it, it comes in this really pretty blue bottle. So I have two of these empty blue bottles because they're just really pretty. And Russ just shakes his head at me at this point. He's 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 done trying to reason with me. <laughs> Like, but it's really pretty. <laughs> so, yeah, I have the same issue that all the rest of you do. <laughs> okay, now for the big part is trying to figure out how to fit that sentiment on here, right? Because I knew I wanted the sentiment that had the honey. So it says you're as sweet as honey. But obviously, that one's a little longer than my tag is, isn't it? So that's not going to work. So what I did, I took this. This is the C block, the C size. So the first part, I'm gonna show you two ways to do this because that's how I kind of did it. Yeah, right? Just just roll your eyes, walk away. That's a wise man, exactly. Russ is a wise man. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. And um, I actually used both of these when I did my card on Friday night because it was very easy with that hanging off the edge to just ink up the your as sweet. Because the rest of it was kind of hanging off the edge, right? Actually I missed I missed part of the T. There we go. So very easy just to ink up that part. And then I could go on a little bit of a diagonal that seemed to work better. And voila. So that's all good. And you want to make sure you clean it between because you don't want any residue from that first stamping. And when I went to do the as honey part, like I could do that, but that seemed to be like an awful lot of wiggly stuff hanging off. Instead, what I did. Well, so I got kind of most of it on there just so it would, you know, be hanging around better, wouldn't be in my way, wouldn't drag, anything like that. And I took a piece of my post-it tape. You can take a post-it note. You can take our masking paper, um, post-it tape, anything like that. And I'm going to mask off the part that I do not want stamped. So I've got just as honey showing here. And now I can just go right into that stamp pad without being too careful, make sure you take your mask off. Because ask me how I know that one. I've done that before. And now I can go and just line up that as honey right underneath. And voila. We have a two-line sentiment from a one-line sentiment. Very, very easy to do. And it does not take a lot of supplies. Like I said, you could do that with, um, sorry, I jangled you again. 
you can do that with uh, a post-it note or you know anything like that you could actually do it with just like regular scotch tape i find that that doesn't stick as well i think um, i think the paper tape kind of is a better um, option the scotch tape i have found personally kind of wiggles around and that is not what i need when i'm trying to do something kind of precision like that okay back to our honeycomb stamp real quick because that label just looks a little blah so we're just going to add a stamp of honeycomb up top and another little stamp down here perfect oh and you know what while we've got that out let's do our inside and i love this because this one is kind of perfect for the corners I just did a little top and bottom corner, and the inside is all done as well. Okay, so that's all of our stamping done. Let's go ahead and attach the inside, and we'll pop the uh, ribbon on the tag, and I'll have another little fun little thing to show you. Some of you may know this already, and I absolutely love this little trick because um, I think all of us either struggle or used to struggle with tying ribbon right um i think that's a pretty common paper crafter malady <laughs> so i can show you my solution i'm gonna put a little bit of oh or a lot <laughs> that was sitting upside down for a while I match up those holes so I can get the ribbon through, but I want to offset it so we have that little bit of um, black, okay? Okay, now we're gonna take our Summer Splash ribbon. Oh my gosh, this ribbon is so yummy. The nice like double border stitch, just really pretty. It's very easy to work with, like really bendy and all that, all the good things. Be very careful with your scissors. I have cut my fingers several times with these guys. It has been years, so apparently maybe I did learn my lesson, thank God. So a lot of times, you know, I'll do this, and I'm trying to tie a knot, and it doesn't lay right, or you do the hole where you put the tails through, right? And then you kind of pull it through that, that little loop, which is nice too. But again, sometimes that feels a little bulky to me, or it might not lay right. That's actually a good one right there, so. Couldn't do that again if I tried. But, um, but the way I really love to do ribbon now on a tag like this is you just pop it through. I'm gonna take my little tweezers, hold this in place for me. You don't have to do that part, but it's just nice and easy. And I'm gonna take some of our twine. This is our uh, essentials pack of twine. So you get gray and you know a tan and a white and a vanilla and a black like all the essentials and the vanilla and the white, you can use your blends to make it any color you want. Love it. So I'm gonna take the black because we've got black on our card. And we're simply gonna tie this in a knot around that ribbon. You know, very simply. <laughs> My fingers are not working tonight. Silly fingers. Oh my gosh, why can I not tie a knot tonight? There we go. Whew. See, that, those tweezers did come in handy because that ribbon would have been all over the place. So we'll just snip that kind of close. And there go my dogs again. Silly doggies. And then you can just trim your edges. I'm going to do that after I attach this. So I need some dimensionals. I think I forgot to bring some over. So I have my little stash here at my station. So, but that means I'm using mini dimensionals because that's what I've got over here. I don't know what happened to my large ones. <laughs> Probably used them and then put them away. <laughs> but yeah, dimensionals, man. If you don't have dimensionals, whew, you need them. 
they just raise up things just a little bit. And um, so you don't even have to worry. It, it just adds that little bit of texture. Always, always great. Hey, Gloria, I won. So this was my card from Friday. And I was saying at the beginning of the video that um, I kind of forgot to post that this morning. So I will post it tomorrow morning for anybody else who's wondering that hasn't asked. But um, yeah, oops. Um, and the reason I forgot is because we were deep in the trenches of planning our packing for the Alaska trip. So um, mind was completely elsewhere yesterday. I'm going to spread those out just a little bit. And there you go. Voila! Um, yeah, so crazy. Um, I, was, I was deep in the anxiety train because packing for an Alaskan cruise is weird. And Penny, thank goodness, helped me out because she has been on an Alaskan cruise. And so it's like on, on board ship, you're chillier. If you're going to be on deck and stuff, you know, you want like a jacket and sweatshirt and that kind of thing. But then when you're on land, you know, it might be 65, 70 degrees. Thank you so much. So yeah, packing is an interesting endeavor right now. And because we're going to be gone for so long, it's like, oh my gosh, uh, I don't even, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. So, but I got through the anxiety part yesterday and things are looking better and I'm making lists and all things are good. So, <laughs> so yes, so no live the next two weeks, remember. Um, which means all of you replay warriors on Facebook and YouTube, there will be no new videos the next couple of weeks. Well, that depends. I may pre-shoot a little something for y'all um, if I have time before we leave. So I'm not going to promise anything, but I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> so the other thing I wanted to tell you, we used some dyes tonight. And I wanted to let you know on Wednesday, June 5th, so two days from the live that I'm doing right now, um, we are having a stamp and die bundles sale. So there'll be an, normally when stamps and dies are bundled together, they are 10% off if you, the price that they would have been individually. There we go. That's how you say it. <laughs> but during from June 5th, all the way to the end of the month through the 30th, they will be an extra 10% off. And the really cool thing 10% off the machines, both the mini and the full size stamp and cut and emboss will be 10% off from June 5th to the 30th. So there is um, a shopping link in the uh, video description as well. So you can always check on my store and see the latest um, goodies and all that kind of stuff. I also share a weekly email. So if you have not signed up for my email yet, um, first of all, what are you waiting for? Um, every, every week I share some tips, some tricks, little hacks, um, extra things. I share a tutorial that I don't share anywhere else on the internet. Those go out to my email subscribers. Um, I also share a new color combo, a sketch that you can use, um, a little funny cause I'm all about the funny, right? So <laughs> Um, but yeah, anything new that's going on with Stampin' Up comes out in that email. So be sure that you are subscribed to that. Those go out on Wednesday mornings. So um, make sure you just head over there, you know, as soon as we're done with the video and sign up for that if you're not already. Um, and I do have a super cute one that I'll be showing you when we get back from Alaska. And that will be in newsletter only. So we won't be showing that one live. I never show anything live that I share tutorials for on my email. Um, let's see, anything else I wanted to tell you? <laughs> did that? Yes, I did all the things, you guys. Woo! It helps to have a list, let me tell you. Recent ADHD diagnosis, I'm like all about the lists. And I always have been, but I'm getting better about knowing where my lists are now. So that's really progress. <laughs> um, yeah, I never used to remember where my lists were. So, and I have several notebooks going at all times. Oh, I will have all the fun. Thank you so much, Penny. Thanks everyone for joining. Um, and thank you if you're catching the replay as well. Um, so that's all I have for tonight. Thanks so much for joining me. If you learned anything new here or got some inspiration, I'd love it if you'd share the video so that your friends and family could enjoy that as well. So usually I say until next week, but um, 
until next time, let's say, it'll be a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm still Nan Gerlitz. Happy stamping.